Raven West has been writing since she could pick up a pencil. But when did you really develop your passion for writing? I think I've always been passionate about writing. Stories and characters and creations and worlds of my own making that were out of my imagination. But my real passion when I started going into the publishing world was after I graduated from college with a degree in journalism and found I had another passion in radio. So I combined those two together and wrote my very first novel. So what is the theme of Red Wine for Breakfast? The main theme of Red Wine for Breakfast stars Jenny Reed, a displaced New Yorker who moved to California to pursue a career in radio. She has the number one show in LA called Reading in the Morning until she gets paired with Johnny King, a sleazebag radio announcer from Minnesota who makes her life a living hell. But the audience loves her. And one morning he comes in with a bottle of wine to celebrate their six month anniversary. And Jenny goes crazy. FCC rules, they're in trouble. But the audience were so excited about his romantic attempt by bringing a bottle of red wine to the studio, cases and cases of wine started to come to the studio. And that created the producer saying to Jenny, we're changing the name of your show to Red Wine for Breakfast. And that's when all hell breaks loose. Your second book was First Class Mail. First Class Mail is about a hero postmaster of the U.S. Postal Service, a writer and a district attorney. It takes place in upstate New York. It is not actually a romance story, but it is a very interesting character and a backstop of one of the most legged organizations in the country, the U.S. Postal Service. Again, I worked in the Postal Service. I was a letter carrier for the summer of 74. And once again, the facts in this book are accurate. It's part fact, part fiction, part fantasy, and my second novel. Your third novel is now complete. This is the manuscript of my third novel. I just completed it last week, and it's sent off to my agent. It's called Cry Uncle. It is based on somewhat of a true story where two women who used to play like they were in Man From U.N.C.L.E. when they were in junior high returned to their 30th high school reunion only to discover that Uncle was real and one of their classmates is now the head of Thrush. They're recruited by Uncle to infiltrate their classmates organization and bring him to justice. Cry Uncle hopefully will be in a publisher's hands soon and on your bookshelf sooner. You've had a lot of support during your writing from your fans. Yes, I have, and they've sent me these beautiful roses to congratulate me on the completion of my third novel, which is amazing. Thank you to all my fans. And I also want to say I have three lovely daughters Tandy, who is an airline pilot, Kimberly, who teaches autistic children, and Michelle, who is the senior activist organizer for Jewish World Watch, and of course, my husband, Bill. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, too. Buy my books. <laughs> <laughs>